You're watching Center Stage with Rahul Kavar. Good evening and a warm welcome for the second day running. Jaitapur was on the boil. Pitched battles were reported through the day between the police and the protesting farmers and fishermen after one protester was killed in police firing yesterday. State Home Minister R. R. Patil today ordered a probe but the matter is now being fought as much in the political arena as on the streets. Kamlesh Sutar from Ratnagiri on the political fission over the proposed Jaitpur nuclear power plant. Jatapur continued to simmer as political parties stoked protests against the yet-to-be-built nuclear plant. The Bant call given by the Shiv Sena in Ratnagiri district of Maharashtra turned violent. Angry protesters have burnt tires on the road and have stopped vehicles from entering or are going out of Ratnagiri. Also, extra police personnel have been kept on alert. The entire administration is on a vigil. Ratnagiri was completely shut down. All shops and markets were closed. Ratnagiri Shahar mein 144 ki dhara lagu kar diye hai. Shahar mein curfew declare kar diya gaya hai. Nagrikon ko vinandi karne karte hai police. Despite the heavy police presence, tension grew in Ratnagiri. There have been stones being pelted at the police. Stones, one stone has been pelted at the police right here. As you can see in this picture, the mob here trying to challenge the police authorities. Remember, it was just this incident of skirmishes between police and police and, and the locals protesting out there that has resulted in the death of one, one activist yesterday and we can see similar scenes of, of skirmishes between the police and, and, the, local, uh, and the locals of Jatapur here. Here, this is happening right on the streets, just outside the hospital at Ratnagiri. Protesting against the death of a man in the police firing on Monday, an angry mob descended to ransack the district hospital. The staff and doctors on duty were roughed up. But as the agitation grew increasingly violent, the administration countered with an almost brutal crackdown on the protesters. The ban called by Shiv Sena disrupted life in Dathnagiri throughout the day. Though things had calmed down a bit after the state government announced judicial probe in Sabret Sagvekar's death, the administration is still keeping its finger crossed, fearing that the calm does not prove to be the lull before the storm. With Rubin Mujawar and Pravin Patil, Kamlesh Sitarin Ratnagiri for Headlines Today.